welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about the atomic packing factors from the different metallic materials so basically metallic materials having a four kind of structure and that will be simple cubic structure fcc bcc and hcp so the how the influence of the atomic packing factor onto the properties of the materials so let's start with our topics with the metallic crystal structures so basically it will be the four kind of structures so first one is a simple cubic structure so cube having eight corners and eight corner containing with the one atoms second one the face centered cubic structure once again the eight corner of the cube having eight atoms and each and every face of the crystal that will be containing one center atoms third one the body centered cubic structure once again the eight corner having eight atoms and the center of a body that will be containing one extra atoms for the hexagonal closed space structure just you can see from the figures that will be having a two hexagon faces so that hexagon face having each and every corner having a single atoms from top side and bottom side and once again the center atom of that particular top face and bottom face and from the front side that will be the alternate presence of the atoms so six face of the hexagon and that will be containing the three alternate face of that particular atoms so the packing of the atoms in a unit cell of the structure of material is known as a atomic packing factor so basically study about the unit cell and unit cell that will be representing the overall structure of the materials and that structure it will belongs to the properties of the materials and the properties as per my requirements of the applications so the packing arrangement of the atoms depends on to the radius of the atoms it involves as well as the types of the bonding between the consecutive neighborhood atoms so basically the atomic packing factor is the ratio of the volume of the atoms to that of the unit cell so apf number that will be representing as the volume of the atoms in a unit cell divided by total unit cell volume now we will discussing with the first one and that will be the atomic radius of the simple cubic structure and the apf number of the simple cubic structure so let's see from the diagram that will be having a four atoms it will be present like this so center to center distance that will be called as a a distance is called as a lattice parameters and each and every atoms that will be having a radius r so as from the figure a is equal to twice into r so r is equal to a by 2 so here it will be the general arrangement of the simple cubic structure so to formation of the simple cubic structure a is equal to b equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree so that will be the simplest form of the simple cubic structure now atomic packing factor for the simple cubic structure so atomic packing factor that will be equal to volume of the atoms in a unit cell divided by total volume of unit cell so we already known that they assume all the atoms that will be hard spheres so from the diagram just you can see for the simple cubic structure so r is equal to 0.5 into a so for the containings eight atoms that will be sharing with the 1/8 portion of the atoms so contains for the unit cell that will be 8 multiplied by 1 by 8 so you can considering as a one atoms per unit cell so now application of the apf number for simple cubic structure so the atoms per unit cell that will be 1 into volume of unit cell per atom so 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by a cube just put the value of r and value of r that will be 0.5 into a so just put the value and get the answer so apf for the simple cubic structure and that will be 52 that means what 
the 52 percent of the atoms that will be occupying the space into the simple cubic structure so remaining 48 percent for the as a vacant into the simple cubic structure so around 50 percentage space is occupied by the atoms in case of simple cubic structure so that will be swapped into the nature second one atomic radius for FCC structure so let's see the arrangement of the FCC structure so according to the figure that will be the diagonal that will be called as R plus twice R and R and A to B distance that will be representing as A and B to C distance that will be representing as a A. So here is a, A is called as a lattice parameter, R that will be equal to atomic radius. Then just you can apply the Pythagoras rule, A C square that will be equal to A B square plus B C square. So just put the value of A C that means R plus 2 R plus R that means 4 R whole square that will be equal to A square plus A square. So finally you get r is equal to a into root 2 divided by 4. So now atomic packing factor for the face centered cubic structure. So just you can see the actual size of the unit cell of the FCC structure and value of r that will be a into root 2 divided by 4. So unit cell contains 6 multiplied by 1 by 2 plus 8 multiplied by 1 by 8. So that 6 that will be from the atoms present at the center of the each and every face. So for the cubic structure 6 faces so number 6 and that will be sharing with the half portion of the atom size. So that will be 1 by 2. So 6 into 1 by 2 plus 8 into 1 by 8. So 8 corner that will be sharing with the 1 8th portion of the unit cell. So for the single unit cell you can say that 6 multiplied by 1 by 2 that means 3 plus 8 multiplied by 1 by 8 means 1. So 3 plus 1 so total 4 atoms per unit cell is present into the FCC structure. Just you can put the value of that unit cell per atoms divided by total volume per unit cell. So APF equal to 4 that will be the atoms per unit cell multiplied by 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by total volume of unit cell that will be A cube. So just put the value of r into these equations and you will get APF for face centered cubic structure and that will be the 0.74. So according to the 0.74 of the APF number of the FCC structure, so the 74 percentage space is occupied in the case of FCC structure. So only 26 percent as a vacancy is available to formation of the new materials. So if the more number of atoms will be present into the structure, so that will be having a good material so you can say the good ductile kind of property is present into the materials. Now taking the third for the BCC structure, so let us see from the diagram, here is your lattice parameters, so A to E, E to F and F to G, just you can take the diagonal and apply the Pythagoras rule. So e to g distance that will be a into root 2 and according to the mathematical formula you can find the distance a to g and that will be the 4 r. So r is the atomic radius let here a to g that means r plus twice r plus r that will be equal to 4 r. So here e g square means a square plus a square that means 2 a square so a into root 2. Once again a g square means a e square 
plus e g square. So just put the value a g means 4 r whole square plus a square plus twice a square. So finally you get r is equal to a under root of 3 divided by 4. Now I am interested to apply the APF number or finding the APF number of the BCC structure. So just you can see the sharing element or you can say countings of the unit cell for the BCC structure. So once again for the radius r is equal to a root 3 by 4 and the unit cell contains one that will be the center atoms it will be present into the center of the body plus 8 into 1 by 8 so similar to the previous ones 8 corner atoms that will be shared with their 1 by 8 portion so that will be considering as a total one unit cell so 1 plus 1 that will be equal to 2 atoms per unit cell for the BCC structure now APF number so 2 that means 2 atoms per unit cell multiplied by 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by a cube. So just put the value and you will get the APF for the body centered cubic and that will be 0.68%. So 68% space is occupied by the atoms for the BCC structure. So remaining 32% as a vacancy is available for the BCC structure. So from the simple cubic, face centered cubic and, hexa and body centered cubic, each and every structure that will be having a vacancies, it will be present into the materials. Now I am talking about the simple cubic, so 52% space is occupied by the atoms. For the FCC, 74 percentage space occupied by the atoms and for the BCC, 68 percent space is occupied by the structure. So for any kind of structure is present into the any materials, there is a always vacancy it will be present and that will be proved by the atomic packing factor. I suppose I am talking about the maximum atoms it will be present into the structure so that would be having a good properties amongst all the simple, simple cubics and the body centered cubic because face centered cubic having a maximum atoms present into the structure and that will be the 74 percent space is occupied by the atoms. So thank you very much if you like it then subscribe like and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials.